guys. So I know I'm late, but I really wanted to share my arachnophile or 3D spider look. So let's get started. So I started with my brows. I wanted them to be very dark and thick and block-like. So I used the darkest pomade that I have and almost extended them a bit. And then I used a full coverage, very light concealer to carve them out more than I normally would because I wanted them to be quite prominent. And um, as you can see, I used this very, very light concealer and also covered my redness on my eyes and sort of made it like my eyeshadow base so that the colors would really pop. Then I took the Aphrodite palette, which is like the Huda Beauty rose gold palette and the grayish sort of shade in it and use that as my crease or transition shade rather because this has a really beautiful like brownish gray look to it. Then I went into the Smoky Obsessions palette and the dark brown color and kind of build up my crease from there. As you can see, I'm really working that in to bring depth. And then I took the Sigma gel, the Wicked Eye Gel, uh, eyeliner gel, and used that to cover my entire lid because I want the black on my lid to be really, really prominent. And the best way to do that is to make a black base. I'm taking another brush and kind of blending out the edges. You sort of have to work through that and work quickly because if it dries up, it won't blend that well. As you can see, I'm going back with that grayish color and sort of just working those two colors together. Then I took the black eyeshadow in the same palette and used that to pat down and set that gel because I don't want it to be moving around. And I want, of course, the black to become really dark and the whole point of the gel was to make it look darker. Basically this is supposed to be the body of the spider so that's why it needs to be really dark and black and also like a very glam kind of black smoky eye look. So I'm going to do the one on the other side as well. Now I'm just aligning my eyes, the top and the bottom waterline and tight line with a black eye pencil and then I'm going to set the same line with the black eyeshadow. Again, just to make sure it doesn't move and then use the dark brown to smoke out the bottom. So I wanted a little bit of a pop of color. So I took the Shoch palette and the green eyeshadow in that and mixed a little bit of Inglot's Duraline into it to make like a very bright green eyeliner, which I went over the black that I put on the lower lash line. And I just thought that that kind of, you know, made the whole eye look pop a little more and it wasn't just like a simple black smoky eyeshadow and then I took the purple in the same palette and instead of a lighter color for highlight I used the purple to make the highlight because these are just very like spooky kind of spidery colors. Then I took the very shimmery and sparkly kind of pink and dusted that very lightly on the center of the eyes just to give it sort of like this halo kind of look and I went back in with the black eyeshadow and darkened the sides just to create that contrast. And finally, I took this orange, peachy orange shade. It's also quite shimmery and used that for my brow bone highlight. So you see a theme here. Then I took my O2O concealer and corrector palette and I took the lightest shade in that and basically went down the center of my face. And also I took these two Tarte Shape Tape concealers and again went down the center of my face. I used the light sand, which is a very, very light color for me and mix it with light medium honey. And um, I wanted my face to be quite pale, you know, to really create that contrast. This is the only time I would use something this light on myself. Next, I wanna really carve out my cheeks as well. And so I went to contour with this Smashbox contouring pen. It's really easy to use this. Pencil, not pen. So I really want to do a deep, harsh kind of contour, but at the same time, I will be blending it out and I'll be applying foundation on top of this. So the foundation I'm using is this one by Wet n Wild. It's the Photo Focus, and I believe it's in the shade Golden Beige. I have to make sure to put it on my neck because my face is so white, my neck will look darker. And you best believe that was Taylor Swift playing in the background. <laughs> anyway so we have to blend this all out everything together because you know we still want that glam look 
So I'm going to go over it with a powder contour just so that it really stands out. And I'm actually using that same grayish shade from the Aphrodite palette as my contour instead of using like a contour shade. So it just doubles up as that. And I'll be setting my face with this NYX HD Translucent Powder. I'm also baking with it. And um, this kind of leaves a white cast, especially in flash photography, which normally I wouldn't like, but here I don't mind. And then I'm using two blushes. There's like a more cool toned one and a more peachy toned one. And I'm going pretty liberally on my cheek and really focusing it near my mouth. It's just drawing a lot of attention towards my mouth. At this point, I'm going to set my face so that my highlight really pops out and I'm actually doing something I normally wouldn't do. I'm taking a small brush so that the highlight is really, really strong and just really in your face. I'm also going on the bridge of my nose and, you know, the usual areas. Now, we're going to get to the fun part. Okay, so this is me second guessing myself. I wasn't sure about this, so I decided instead of just going straight in with the black eyeliner, I used a nude eye pencil to sort of just trace out what my legs would, were going to look like, you know, which direction I wanted them to go, how long they needed to be. So this was a really helpful step, you know, it just kind of gave me a little more confidence. And if you are a little unsure, then I would say do this. I also had a reference picture and a picture of a spider just to sort of help me out so that it would look more realistic. And now I started going in with black liner. Now you'll notice throughout that I use three different kinds of liners. Just sometimes this felt tip one would kind of run out of ink. So then I would use the liquid liner by NYX, the matte with one with a brush tip. And then I also used the Wicked uh, Gel Liner by Sigma. And here I'm just making the lines. And as you can see, the cool thing about this is that you don't need to be very precise. And spiders usually have like hairy legs. So, you know, you can draw on the hairy part of that. Uh, the only thing that I would recommend is A, go with a liner that's a little more liquidy. And then you want to kind of make these joints for the knees. And stay thicker closer to the eyelid so that's where the leg starts from and then it tapers off so as you can see the tips are the thinnest and then i also made sure that my second and third leg were longer okay so here i decided that i didn't want them all to be going in one direction it wasn't as interesting so then i just wiped that off and i made the legs direction going the other way which I thought looked better and um, so yeah as I was saying my first and last legs are smaller and then the middle ones I took like great liberty of really stretching them out as you can see I'm like really pulling this all the way down and uh, the leg is also thicker and heavier so we already have something going there Now I'm just going to pat it down with a black eyeshadow so that it doesn't move because, you know, liquid liner can move. So this is just ensuring that it's like it stays put. Now is the important part where we want to create that 3D look. So you have to take like a black or a gray eyeshadow. I just took black. I couldn't find gray. And you want to create the shadow of the legs. And the easiest, this is really, really easy. All you do is make a line from the tip of the leg all the way to where it starts. And with the larger leg, I gave it kind of a bend. And then what I also did was I went back and made it a little darker right where the tip was. So it looks like the legs are standing there. And you can use a concealer very easily to clean up if you've just made any mistakes. Next, because we gave it shadow, now we have to give it a highlight. So the easiest thing is to take a white eyeliner and just create little dots right on top of the legs. And really, it doesn't matter where you put them. I sort of put them like closer to the tip and on like the knee joint area. And it was kind of random, but it worked. Then I also went in and set it with a sparkly white eyeshadow. That was from the Shoch palette as well. And I really, really liked how it turned out.
So I went ahead and added some falsies and a bright red lipstick. And now I wanted to make it look like there was a spider coming out of my mouth. The, I did make a mistake. I realized I wanted to do it on the opposite side, but I ended up doing it on the same side as the spider, but it's okay. So I took the black eyeliner and I just went over my lip like this, making sure to open my mouth and fill in inside as well. And this time, since I had more confidence, I didn't need the nude liner. I just went in with the black eyeliner and made the legs. In this, I have four legs coming out, but at the end I did add another leg, so it was actually five. I'll put a picture. I would highly recommend that you do the spider on the other side, not like this because I kind of ran out of space, but it's okay. It was kind of like my one side was messed up. And there you have it, my 3D arachnophile spiders. Let me know what you think.